Our next presentation is the Metal Arc Poets, and they're going to present, uh, or Ella Morris is the head of the, the, the Metal Arc Poets, and she will present the, the poets. It's a real treat to be able to come and talk to the people of AARP. Uh, today, we have uh, been at Meadowlark for approximately five years. And the first time I went to a, a class to teach writing poetry, they gave us two sentences. One was, now I am, or once I was, and a second verse, now I am. You ought to try it because it brings out some things that maybe you never knew you were even thinking. And uh, since then, we didn't want to uh, quit coming, but Dr. Irene Blea was the one that was giving the class. And uh, so I said I would take names if anyone else wanted to come. And it's been about five years, and I've taken a lot of names since then, and we've got some good poets. And I'd like to introduce Phil Peach now. He's one of our poets, and he'll tell you a little bit about himself, and also in introduce the other poets as they come up. Thank you. My name's Phil Peach. Um, I've been writing poetry for a long time. I've enjoyed poetry since we had to memorize poetry in the eighth grade, and then we had to memorize poetry again in the ninth grade, and I've always loved poetry. So I started writing poetry back in my teens, and off and on over the years, I have written poetry. So it's been something that I've enjoyed. Robert Frost is my favorite poet. Um, and, you know, there are a lot of people that like Frost. He had some really wonderful thoughts. And I see that same kind of thought-provoking uh, poetry presented in our poetry group. So I hope you enjoy the poetry that we will be having. And uh, so today, we're going to begin with uh, Robin Carlin. Um, she's going to read a couple of things for you, and uh, then Maud Sams will come, and uh, they'll tell you a little bit about themselves. Hopefully, it'll give you a little insight to how they write. And uh, we have six readers, so we'll have about eight or nine minutes per reader. And uh, we'll start with Robin. Excuse me. Robin sure. has to catch her breath. Oh, okay. She's been running around a lot. So if you'll go on to Maud. Okay. Thank you. Maud, come up and tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'll let you know that uh, she is... Uh, from, well, most recently New York, but she's she was born in Panama, as I understand it, and she's from Jamaica, and then she worked for the post office, and she's retired, living here in the Albuquerque, Rio Rancho area. Hello, everybody. Um, I want to tell you a little about, about myself. Um, can't hear you. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Born in Panama, as, as you heard, grew up in Jamaica. I got the incentive to write poetry from my brother, who was at one time the poet laureate in Jamaica. He died at a very young age. But I got, um, he had really encouraged me to write poems, and this is um, 
one that I wrote, one of the first that I wrote. The title is, Shall We Forget? Shall we forget the military group that marched to war with artillery and song to fight for right, avenge the wrong? Shall we forget? The rumbling drums, the bugles blast, the soulful anthems peeling fast, the nation's banners trailing past, shall we forget? The fearless guys, their steadfast smile, the timid souls, their look beguile, the lost loved silent all the while, shall we forget? Shall we forget the fleet of our pride, the eel-like submarines that glide, the aerial squadrons on the ride, or war-torn plains? The mossy swamps, the cold, the horror, through, through trenches and with bloody gore, where comrades fell to rise no more, they battled on. The various heartbreaking moans of mothers, widows, whose loved ones were death trapped, hurled in foreign zones, in far domains, through everlasting fields of snow, warmed only by the underglow of hearts that beat as one in woe. They fought and won. The great tall monuments that tell the names of our heroes who fell, the unknown or unlettered tombs, we will remember yet. 